Hello, and welcome to the Roundhouse Roundup, episode number nine. This week, the King of Fighters review. But first, a little tidbit. Uh, I got accepted into the uh, Xbox Live preview program, and there's a new feature that no one has even talked about, and I don't know why, because it's the best feature ever. When you have a disc selected, you can now press X to eject it. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but seriously, I've wanted something like this for a very, very long time. So now I don't have to get up my lazy ass and hit the eject button. First news item of the day, uh, this week at GameStop, Street Fighter 4 for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 is $20, brand new. That is not uh, a mistake, a typo. $20. If you do not own this game, you should buy it right now. Stop watching this video and go buy Street Fighter 4. Uh, next on the list of the news, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 comes out tomorrow on the Xbox Live Arcade for 1200 Microsoft points or $15, and it'll be out in two weeks on PlayStation Network. Uh, it's getting really good reviews all over the internet, but I'm not going to pick it up. Why? Well, I, I suck at Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I suck out loud. Maybe I'll pick it up if it goes on some kind of sale or something, but it's a good game. Pick it up. It has my recommendation, but I suck at it. And uh, I don't know. So now let's get down to the meat of the matter. King of Fighters 12. I have said previously in Games to Me broadcasts that it is my game, most looked forward to game of 2009. And it's out. I said, the only way this could piss me off is if the online play sucked. If you can't tell by the way I'm inhaling right now, the online play sucks. It sucks it long, and it sucks it hard. Um, let's back it up for a bit. King of Fighters 12 is the quote-unquote King of Fighters rebirth. Um, every character has been redrawn and the game has been somewhat simplified in some respects. Move lists have been trimmed. Some characters only have two moves, plus they're super. Um, it was designed to be a new entry point for the King of Fighters franchise. and In that respect, I think it succeeds. But you have to look at the whole package. If you watched me on Sunday's live stream, you saw the game has a very, 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 very limited uh, single player mode. The story mode, there is no story mode. You have arcade mode. You play five matches, and you're done. No boss, no cutscene. Well, okay, no, wait, there's a cutscene with some news reporters. They go, King of Fighters is so popular. That's about what they sound like. Um. So the bulk of this game is really its online offering, and when that sucks, we have kind of a problem. Now, there's already been a patch for the game release that's supposed to fix some of the online issues, but I haven't seen it. And Ignition Entertainment, the publishers of the game in the United States, and ostensibly Europe, have stated that they are not happy with the state of the game as it is, and are currently in face-to-face -face meetings with SNK Playmore to discuss this situation. I really want to hear some good news really soon about what's going to happen with this game because as it stands right now, I cannot recommend King of Fighters. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. I mean, you can see here that uh, it's already laggy, and this is after the patch has come out, so uh, at the very least, you can spectate matches. There are some neat things about King of Fighters 12, like the critical counter system. When you get a counter hit on someone and your critical counter gauge is full, you get a free combo on them, like this. With a little practice, you can get something a little bit fancier. Or you can use your critical counter to do a more powerful version of your super. For example, here's the regular super. And here's the critical counter version. Unfortunately, 
You know, let me just get personal here. King of Fighters 2002-2003 was a bundle that came out on the original Xbox some years ago, and I couldn't sleep. I was so excited. I picked it up, and I played that, and played that, and played that, and played that, and I had so much fun playing it online. That was the smoothest online game I had ever played up to that point, and it's still one of the smoothest games of all time. Flash forward to I pick up King of Fighters 12 during Comic-Con. I get home, and I'm tired from Comic-Con. And I just don't want to play King of Fighters 12 because I've heard all this bad stuff about it. I just don't want to get into it. <laughs> I don't know if you want to call it a harbinger of me getting old or me just maybe not liking games as much as I used to. But King of Fighters is a franchise that I have personally believed in ever since I picked up my Dreamcast and got this game called King of Fighters 98 wondering what the hell is this? Well, to be honest, I actually picked up Match of the Millennium on a Neo Geo Pocket Color, and I was like, oh my god, it's Ryo and Terry! Who is this Kyo, yeah, asshole? Who is this Iori, son of a bitch? And then I go from there to CVS1, didn't understand who the hell Benny Maru was, and then I finally picked up a King of Fighters on my Dreamcast, uh, Dream Match 99, which is just 98. But what fun that was. Um, a lot of great memories, and... I don't want to see it end. Please fix this game. I am begging you. I know Ignition. I have met the people at Ignition. They are good people. I believe they mean what they say. What I believe the case is happening here is they are put in the unenviable position where they are not in full control of the product. All they can do is just pray that SNK can put out something good, market the hell out of it in America, and just hope things will work out as far as the product side. They have, I, don't, I do not know how much influence they have in development, but I believe it's going to be a hell of a lot more if they can um, resurrect King of Fighters 12 from what could be an early death. In short, my review is please wait. Um, we'll see in a month or two what happens to this game, but right now, wait on it. Um, if you've got Blaze Blue, keep playing that. If you've got Street Fighter 4, keep playing that. But I really want King of Fighters 12 to be the best game it can. But for right now, I can only do a service to you, the viewers, and say, not yet. Not yet. Anyway, stay tuned for all the news, previews, reviews. Gosh, I'm sorry. This, this has just got me so depressed I can't even do the line. From the bottom of my heart, Ignition, fix this game so I can just live my fun little childish dreams of playing a game for hours and hours and not have to worry about like things and responsibilities. Take me back to when I was just a little bit younger, please. See you next week.